All right, uh, Tools in a Box, episode three. Let's just grab something out of here. Let's just grab this box right here. Um, yep, that will be it. Pretty simple. Uh, nothing fancy going on today. Um, so the tool that I just grabbed from my toolbox that I've had for a while are these uh, Astro oil filter pliers. Um, part number 78515, that's what they're uh, calling it. I've had these for a while and I thought they were pretty cool when I first picked them up like almost a year ago. Um, they got these uh, adjustable um, claws that you can, you know, get in there to whatever angle you're trying to work at. Well, I mostly work on um, Honda Acura um, and now Toyota. So. Japanese make model cars almost and this has not been successful in fact when I don't necessarily have an issue with these like lock-in um, heads they do have a pin in there you can't really see the pin but there's a pin that allows it to catch in these little indentations right there um, and it does it does stay in position it doesn't it doesn't flop around or move position from where you set it there you, go. you gotta put some effort into actually moving moving them. So uh, my problem is that's as much as it closes and I traditionally use your standard Honda oil filter, um, oil filters, and this does not close enough on them. Like once you, when you close it, I mean, this is fully collapsed and you still have that much gap. I don't have a filter. Um, I don't have a filter nearby, but it does not these little teeth right here, they they pretty much barely touch the, the canister. And once you go to turn the oil filter, it basically just spins around it, especially if you have oil on it or it's kind of slippery of any sorts from you know road grime or something. So they might work for some people, it just don't work for me. Obviously these are like a, a slip joint um, design. So obviously, if you're working with larger filters, these might work and the angles might work for them. So I was honestly gonna downplay this thing, but you know, it doesn't work for me. That doesn't mean it might not work for somebody else. Um, I'll still try to use them, maybe try a different brand of filters or something, um, size of filters. Um, but I really picked these up initially for the angles uh, on them. You, know, you can get to a full 90 if you wanted or actually slightly more, actually just a full 90. So you have a complete 180 degrees of rotational on there. So hasn't worked for me yet, um, but as far as build quality, I mean, it's it's sturdy. It's not gonna go anywhere. Um, it's not gonna break. It's just, this uh, design could have been a little bit tighter. Um, and even in the closed position, like I got a fist closed right now. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't have it doesn't have any play obviously in there, but it's just not a it's not a tight fit. Um, so anyway, that's 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 one. All right, next up we'll look at the Miller. Uh, Arc Station F Series clamp. This is a five inch one. They do have a six inch one, which I probably should have gotten after looking at these. That's the part number there. Um, so I'm trying to step my uh, my welding game up. Um, well, initially, but acquiring the, the appropriate tools, especially the safety equipment, since I've never welded a day in my life. But um, I do have the welding tables. I got two of them. And I decided to pick these up. Um, if you're familiar with those uh, Miller welding tables that are like 29 by 29, they do have some um, some uh, crossing slots, some kind of T-tracks. This kind of just drops in there. And then obviously these uh, copper lockers and stuff just clamp down on your stuff. This is five inches. The only thing I looked at it, I mean, it's a, it's a piece of metal bent into a, a welding clamp, but you can see the finish on them. It's kind of literally desired there. Um, it doesn't say Miller on it. 
Yeah, and over on this does the same Miller. It looks like you got a hex in right here in case you want to take this off, but you can just undo it by hand. It's literally, it's just literally threads in there. It's a threaded unit. Uh, slide in handle. These are the five inch, so I might end up picking up the, the six inch because, well, I initially should have gotten six inch to be honest, just to cover all my bases. But yeah, keep it short and simple. Astro Miller, and that's gonna be it for today. As me always say, like on the lady team.